G'day guys. G'day. We are currently in Outback, Queensland, and yeah. we're pretty close to the border of Northern Territory. Yeah, we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere, no service, nothing. Yep. And this video, we've got something a bit special. So we've had this for a uh, couple of weeks now, and we've really got time to test it out and show it all. Show it, like, we have been in the middle of nowhere, yeah. um, basically two hours away from the nearest town. And no reception no for ages, reception so at all. I feel like it's a good time to do this video because we did. Oh, we got Starlink. <laughs> so this video is going to be reviewing Starlink and um, give our honest opinion. Yeah, we'll on give it. our honest opinion on it. So just it'll help you decide if you if you want it, if you don't want any big sorts of trips like this. And um, yeah, let's get stuck into it. All right, we'll start this off with the unboxing. So you get a couple little bits. You get a base, which is removable. You get the satellite, which actually isn't too big. Then we just got to click this in. Click it in. There we go. Just clicked. Boom. Get a little bit of little bit of stuff here. Throw that in the car. You don't need that. And you get a router. You get a power cable for your router. And then you get a 15 meter lead from your satellite to your router. So you can pretty much put it anywhere. So we'll set it up and we'll plug it all in and we'll get it going and then we'll show you all the speeds. Now, mind you, we are in the middle of nowhere and no reception, nothing, and you get really good speed. So we'll set it up and I'll show you. All right, so we got our router, power cable, chucker in her butt, beautiful. And then you got the cable from the satellite here and it just goes straight in here as well. And then that's all we need to do. And it's set up. So it's not quick and easy. Rightio, once you're all plugged in, you want to go into your Starlink app on your phone. And you want to go down to obstructions. And then first thing we we're going to want to do before we put our satellite out is we want to check for obstructions so you know where to put it. And you want to choose your satellite, confirm that. And then we're going to go find an open area and we'll scan the sky for it. All right, we're in a nice open area. It's always bloody windy in the app back here. so. We'll uh, scan the night sky. All you need to do is point, point your phone up and it'll collect all these little dots. And then once you collect it all, just view, view your results and it'll tell you if you're in a if you're in a good spot or not. Right there, from that scan, it says it's in a perfect location, if you can see that. It's a great spot, everything's blue. It'll tell you if it's obstructed at all. So um, yeah, we're gonna put the Starlink in that spot there and we'll go set it up. We've plonked our Starlink down where we tested it out in an open sky, nice and nice. Now it'll uh, auto move and calibrate and do whatever it needs to do to point in the optimal direction for good internet. So she's all set up. I'll go back to the phone and I'll show you all the speeds. Now, remember, we're in the outback. We're in the middle of nowhere. It's good stuff. Righty, just like that, we're all set up. Uh, everything's online. Um, we're all, uh, <laughs> we're all connected, so it only takes about five minutes or so. It's uh, it's really easy, and um, yeah, as long as long as you've got a good view of the sky, you're gonna have no issues. Um, I'll show you here. You've got your statistics, and you can see the uptime here. We've got a steady line, and that's perfect. Now you can also check the outages every 0.1 second, two seconds, and five seconds. So you'll see it's had a little bit of issues, uh, getting a little bit obstructed, but it'll only um, drop out for maybe just yeah, not too long. And you can also check your latency, your throughput, what you're using, and uh, what you're uploading. And we can run a speed test for you guys now, just to uh, check what it's like. Right now, speed test is done. We got 55 megabytes per second download speed and 28 megabytes per second upload speed with our 38 ms latency. So, considering we're about two hours out of the nearest town, that's bloody good. So, uh, yeah, you can pretty much download whatever you want, upload whatever you want anywhere in Australia, which is pretty fantastic if you ask me. Uh, it really helps us with uh, being able to upload videos to YouTube like the one you're watching right now. Um, yeah, we would have used Starlink, so uh, yeah, <laughs> it definitely works and it works well. Um, we absolutely love it. So, if you're thinking about getting yourself uh, a Starlink Roam for your travels, um, I reckon I re recommend you should. The uh, only downsides that we've had with it is that um, finding somewhere to store it uh, because we just keep it in the Starlink box that it came with. Or so, maybe someone out there uh, will sell a travel bag for it, which uh, we might end up getting one day. And um, just the other thing with the obstructions and that's pretty much it there's not too many uh, downsides to it we love it it's a little bit expensive for the roam i think it's 174 dollars a month for your um for your subscription but uh i mean if you can if you've got a little bit of extra change and you need internet like we do to upload videos then um 
I'd say it's worth it. We absolutely love it, being able to be connected everywhere. And um, it's also a bit of a safety thing as well. In the Outback Australia, we'll still be able to be connected. I don't think we need to have a uh, like a PLB or a sat phone or anything like that because we always have internet, we'll always be able to contact everyone outside, um, which is fantastic. I'll go through a couple more things on the app just to, so you guys can check it out. All right, onto the phone. You can see up here it says gathering, obstructing data, and it says yeah, it will take another five hours. So in another five hours, it'll know exactly every single obstruction, and it will be uh, it won't um, it won't get obstructed or anything anymore. Um, you've got your statistics, which we've been through. You've also got your obstruction things, which we've been through before to uh, to check where the satellites are. Uh, you've got your speed tests. You can run speed tests. You can run advanced speed tests as well. As you can see, it's still running fantastically. Really good. It'll fluctuate. The best I've had it is uh, 250 megabytes per second download speed, so it will go up and down a lot. But um, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty up there. You've also got your settings, so you can reboot your router. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff on here, and then you've also got your satellite, which you can reboot. Uh, reboot. You can slide to stow, so it'll go. It will go from this, and then it'll go, and it'll go to that. So you can put it back in the box. So you need to do that if you want to put it back in the box. And you've also got a uh, snow melt here, which uh, if you're in a spot where it will snow, you can flick that on, and it'll heat up your, uh, it'll heat up your panel, and uh, it'll keep it warm, so it'll melt all the snow off it, so it won't be obstructed if it's snowing outside or whatever. You don't need to move it inside or whatever. So, and you can also set a sleep schedule to, if you leave it on, you can turn it off at night save you a bit of power whatever um, now the router plugged in I've got it connected to an uh, to an amp meter and it will pull about three to four amps so it's not really that much we can we can pretty much run it all day and it not be an issue especially if you've got the solar on the sun's out uh, yeah pretty much can run it for free so if you're running off grid like we are and we just have an inverter and some batteries um, yeah you can run it three to four amps isn't too much it's about what the fridge pulls um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. It's uh, doesn't pull too much power, which is uh, which is really nifty. So we're able to run that all day and not really have any issues. Now for the app, I'm pretty sure that's just about it. You can also do a, a Wi-Fi check to to test um, to test out the Wi-Fi range. So you can walk around the router and it'll tell you how good the Wi-Fi is uh, from your router, which is pretty handy. But that's pretty much it for the app. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, please give us a subscribe if you liked. And um, yeah, don't forget to like the video. And thanks for watching and um, stay tuned, guys. Thank you very much. Bye.